What is going? Woo. What is going on, guys? Today we are offshore fishing. Today is actually the real 4th of July, but when you see this video, it's not going to be 4th of July anymore, but there's no boats out here and we just hooked up to our first fish. We got a nice bonita in the boat. Anymore. Okay, back it in. All right, good job. Connor's getting a little pre-workout this morning, catching some bait. That's all that's really biting our uh, trolling spread here, but we're gonna get on some good fish here. Indeed. So we're going backwards, and then we're just gonna pull them in right here. Perfect. See? He inhaled that thing. Wow. All right. Yeah that. All right, it's time to clean up the boat and a lot of people ask questions if the sea deck cleans up well um, that's on the floor of my boat everywhere and yes of course it does clean up well um, or else we wouldn't have sea deck on our boat but let me just show you how easy it is. This is fresh blood. Um, a lot of times you don't want it to dry and if it does dry you're gonna have to give it a little bit of scrubbing but you want to get it while it's still wet so we're just gonna rinse it down with a bucket. Our uh, pump is not working so don't laugh at us. And it pretty much just cleans up just like your regular boat, except it's sea deck. So you're going to do the same thing as you would with your normal boat with no sea deck. Bonita in 280. Oh, really? Yeah. Could be a black thing. I know. Yeah. Cuda. Yeah, oh, we got a little cuda. I think we might keep him. You want to eat him? You want to eat him, Sizzle? Sure. We're going to eat him. They're pretty yummy. I also want to mention his regulations. I, I might lose them. <laughs> There's actually new regulations on these things too, guys. So check your regulations. I think it's 18, what is it? Do we know? Check your regulations. And we're gonna check them right now real quick. I was playing around with the hook, couldn't get it out, and he flopped over the side. <laughs> yep. So it was a Guggen release. I didn't want to bring them in the boat totally because they get all slimy. Uh, so he flopped over the side. But anyway, they're good eating actually. Yeah, smaller sizes. I know a lot of people are concerned about uh, high levels of mercury. And there's also that other um, name, I can't think of it right now. I'm not sure. The other sickness. Well, it's nice white meat and but pretty good. Small ones, you can keep small ones and they're great to eat. I grew up eating those with my dad. They're great. I feel like a banana. You're going to let that one spool you too? <laughs> Turn around this fair plate. You can do a rod cam. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> now, you, now you're talking. Wait. Take that off, Ed. I don't want to see me. <laughs> Say hi, Brian. Hey, where is? What's up? They got me on the, on the, on the pole cam, making fun of me because I'm reeling a fish. This is a big fish. All right, so we have switched up our fishing technique. As you can see, we're not trolling anymore. I just threw a cast net because we are anchored. And we decided to do something different today. We haven't done this really. And we're in very shallow fishing patch, patch reefs. And we're trying to get some mutton snappers and some mangrove snappers. And this time of the year, they're spawning. So this is the time of year that hopefully they're in shallower and hopefully we'll get a few. Um, so looking forward to it. And I think that's team leaving the dream right over there. Pretty cool. All right, so I just threw a cast in on some ballyhoo and now I'm gonna try to get some more. So we need fresh bait. Wow. We hooked them perfectly in the corner now. Yeah. All right, hurry up. Hey guys, I'm about to get spooled. I'm not sure if it's a shark or a little cobia, but it's not a big rod. No. I'm getting some line back. Here? Yeah. Alright, come for the line for me. Hey guys, I just had a, a ballyhoo out on this little rig. This is a Daiwa BG. It's a 3500 size. And I actually thought we hooked a shark. And it was brown. I thought it was a nurse shark at first. And uh, but I have a mono leader on here. It's only like I think it's 30 or 40 pounds. But it was a big shark. I think it would have broke off. I'm we're praying with the cobia because they look a lot like nurse sharks. But um, could be a little shark, or could have been a shark chasing a big runner. <laughs> but it's a big fish. It almost spooled us. We had to take it off the uh, anchor and go catch him. 
Sorry, Darcy isn't catching his fish, but I had the line and I'm gonna catch a fish. But that's not what nurse sharks do. Right there. Oh. Doesn't look like a shark. Oh my god. The oh, the holy oh, cow. Oh my wow. lord, have mercy. That was so cool. The way he hit that thing, man. All right, talk to the camera. It's a, it's a, it turns out that it's a monster uh, Jack Cravel. I'm gonna try and boat him here. It's pretty tied out now. This is like the, kind of like in the middle of the ocean, so I didn't really think it was a big jack. Oh, over 30 pounds. What a stud. You'd not expect to catch this. We almost thought it was a cobia or something you could actually eat, but this guy is monstrous. Woo! What an epic jack. Oh my god. Oh, oh, help me with the door. This is a slob, guys. Absolute pig. Brian fought him. We thought we had a, like a huge fish on. Almost spooled us twice. All right, fish is in the water. I don't want to kill him. Normally, I would just let a jack go head first, but he put up one heck of a fight. I'm sure he's exhausted, but they have teeth, so I'm not going to really put my hands in his mouth, and I'm more just going to kind of hold his tail and let him get back some strength, and then uh, he should kick off strong here in a minute or two. But that's the biggest Jack Craval we've ever landed on our boat. And Brian caught it. How was that fight, Brian? It's pretty good. Too much. I leave that for you, Sizzle. I don't have the biceps. <laughs> All right. So I just released that fish. So we're going to get back on these patch reefs and uh, catch some more fish. And we're going to get Connor one. Connor's the guest on the boat today. And my brother, for those of you who don't know. And um, we're going to try and get him some fish. So let's get back to our spot and anchor up. Trigger fish. Ooh, fish on. Get a plank. Hey. Not even touched. Weird. <laughs> All right, get him back in the water. Let him run for a second again. How much do I turn him up? Wrong way. Half, half a turn. We got a bonita on the surface bait, and Connor just reeled it in. He's been getting a big workout today, reeling in lots of bonitas. This fish is going back home. We don't need them. We are now in shore, and we are headed home. And today is Fourth of July, like I had said. So there's a huge party going on here at the sandbar. Gorgeous day. Gosh, there goes my beer. That's awesome. Well, anyways. I was really looking forward to enjoying a nice beer, but half of it just poured out. Uh, but we're just enjoying our day here, and we're just coming cruising through the sandbar, checking it out, what's going on. But we are going home now, but we had an epic day of fishing. We caught a lot of crap fish. We like to call those crap fish, and I know I shouldn't be complaining, but I was hoping to catch a good fish, like something like a kingfish, or maybe a mahi, or a mutton snapper, but that didn't happen. But you know, that stuff why it's called fishing and not catching, but we had a great day. We bent the rods, caught big fish, big Jack Craval, and uh, now we're going to go enjoy 4th of July at our house. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. Please subscribe if you haven't. And until my next adventure, follow your dreams and keep on catching. Catch